اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الف لام را کتاب احکمت آیات ہو سم فصلت من لدن حکیم خبیر اللہ تعبدو اللہ اللہ انی لکم منہ نذیر و بشیر صدق اللہ العظیم With the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and invoking his help, we are starting the study of Surah Uhud alayhi salatu wa salam. As I told you, Surah Yunus and Surah Uhud alayhi salatu wa salam are a pair. They have the same relationship between them which we found in Surah Al-Anam and Surah Al-Araf. There we found only Hazrat Ibrahim mentioned in Surah Al-Anam. None of the, those messengers to whose nations the punishment of Allah came. And Surah Al-Araf, nearly half of it, that was occupied by Ambao Rasul. The history of those nations to whom the messengers of Allah were sent. And they rejected them and they were destroyed. And here we find, you know, that although it's not so clear cut, you know, polarization or differentiation, But a reciprocal ratio exists. In Surah Yunus, only two after, uh, of 11 sections, they were occupied by Ambao Rasul, the history of the messengers. Here in Surah Hud, we'll find more than half of the Surah again, just like Surah Al-Araf. It deals with the, the history of those nations and people and the messengers which sent to them. Both these Surahs are starting Alif Lam Ra. Alif Lam Ra is not counted as a full ayah. While Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah Al-Ali Imran, though both of them began with Alif Lam Meem, and in both of them Alif Lam Meem, it is one ayah, counted as one ayah. Alif Lam Ra, not counted as one ayah. Ha Meem, although there are two letters, they are counted as one ayah. All these things are based on as the Prophet told us. Not any rule of grammar, no any rule of linguistics, not any rule of nahf, nothing of the sort. And it is called in the terminology of tafsir, tawqifi. All these things are maqoof on how the Prophet has told us. No reasoning, no inference, no logic, no grammar, nothing of the sort. الف لام را کتاب ان حکمت آیات ہو سم فصلت من لد الحکیم خبیر لیٹ می ٹیل یو این ادر تھنگ بفور وی اسٹارٹ دی ٹیکسٹ دی از اے سینگ آف دی پروفٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سیبتنی ہود ال واقوات یو نو وین دس سورا واز ریویلڈ اٹ اپیئرڈ ایز اف دی پروفٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم از سو مچ گریوڈ از انڈر سچ اے پریشر اے مینٹل پریشر اے ٹینشن دیٹ ہی اپیئر ٹو بی اولڈ You know, gray hair appeared in his hair. So Abu Bakr رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ asked him a question. What is to you? You have grown suddenly old. The reply was, شَيَّبَتْنِي هُودٌ وَأَخَوَاتُهَا These surahs, Hud and its sisters, who have the same style and same, you know, essence. So I have grown old because of them. Why? Because in these surahs it appears. that the ajal or the time limit of Quraysh is coming to an end. And now the punishment and the chastisement is going to come down very soon. So that was the grief to Prophet ﷺ because after all, this nation was his own nation. He also was from among them. He was also from Quraysh. Although they were, didn't believe in him, but they were their kith and kin. So, you know, he was so much... You know, grieved at this, that as if now their, their term is go, going to come to an end very soon and the chastisement and the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to start. So that was the basis of his grief. Now I have re- referred to the first ayah of this surah in the last hour and that is Kitabun Uhkimat Ayatuhu Summan Fussilat Min Ladun Hakim In Khabir. This is a book, Quran, a very peculiar book. Its ayat were first made profound and strengthened and then detailed and explained from him who is Al-Hakim and Khabir, who is all-wise 
and who is aware of everything. You know, it has two meanings. Number one, in the beginning, the ayat and surah and the surah which were revealed were very small. Ayat are also very small. Balas, in the insan and afi khus, illa lazin amal wa amil salihat wa tawasa bil haqi wa tawasa bil sab. But most profound, most profound. Because there is a saying, you know, of Imam Shafi, Rahimahullah, La tadabbar al-nasu hazihi surat ala wasi'atuhu. Had people pondered over this surah only, it would, have, it would have sufficed for them, for all guidance that they need. There is another saying of his, quoted by Mufti Muhammad Abduhu in his tafsir. La lam yunazzal bin al-Quran siwaha la kafat al-nas. If nothing was revealed from the Quran except this surah al-Asr, it would have been sufficient to guide the people. So, you know, the, the beginning surahs and ayat, they were small but very profound, saturated, so to say, with hikmah. And hikmah, half, ha, kaf, meem has two meanings, wisdom and, you know, fortified, muhkam. Muhkam is something which is fortified, it's strong enough to defend itself against any invasion. That is mustahkam, it has now gained the strength. So these ayat in the beginning and the surahs, they were full of wisdom, very strong, very profound. But then they were detailed. Later on we are having very lengthy discourses, you know. Just like, you know, the, the rivulets in the mountainous region, they are narrow, but very deep. But when, you know, in the plain, their you know, breadth increases, but depth decreases. So that is the case with the ayat which were revealed in the early days and the ayat which were revealed in the later days. Now we had, for example, ayat in Kursi. One ayah having more than ten sentences in it. And that's one ayah. Ayat al birr Laish al birr antu wallu wujuha kum kabal al mashriqi wal maghrib. How much detail? One ayah. So we have long ayahs in the Madani surahs and the later Makki surahs. But in the beginning, small ayat. But they were most profound. Now you can see now this Surah Hud must have been revealed before Surah Yunus. There is an intrinsic, intrinsic, you know, proof for that, and that will come very soon. We shall read it. But this point can be referred here. It contains 123 ayat. But the rukus are 10. And the, um, compare it with Yunus, it had 109 ayat, but rukus were 11. So size of the ayat in Surah Yunus is larger, bigger than the size of ayat, every size of ayat in Surah Surat Hud. So Surah Hud was earlier revealed and there is another internal evidence for that that will come very soon, inshallah. Alif Lam Ra Kitabun Wahkimat Ayatuhu Summa Fussilat Bin Ladun Hakim in Khabir. Allah Ta'abudu Illallah. The message had been the same. Of all the books, all the prophets, all the messengers. In one sentence, don't worship anyone except Allah. That's all. We found in the third section of Surah Al-Baqarah, Ya yuhanna sa'abudu rabbakum al-lazhi khalaqakum wal-lazhi la min qablikum la'allakum tattakoon. This is the message of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Or for that matter, of the message of Quran. And this has been the essence of the message of all the prophets and messengers of Allah. But must keep before you the, the full meanings of ibadah. Worship, loving, obeying, serving. Four things when joined together, then it becomes ibadah. Allah ta'abudu illallah innani lakum minhu nazirun wa bashir. Verily, I am for you from him a nazir, a warner, and a bashir, and a bearer of glad tidings. And you ask the forgiveness of, forgiveness of your Lord and turn towards Him, repent towards Him, relent towards Him. He'll provide you with good things, good provisions of this life. But till a, a fixed period, every person has a fixed time which he has to pass here. Every nation has a fixed, you know, period granted to it. And he gives to all who deserves his bounty, 
ہی گیوز ہز باؤنٹی ٹو دوز اونلی ہو ڈیزرو ہز باؤنٹی اور ہو سو ایور ہیز اینی باؤنٹی ایکچولی اٹ از فرام اللہ سبحان و تعالی بیوت کل ذی فقد فضلا و ان تبلو فانی اخاف علیکم عذاب یوم کبیر اینڈ اف یو ٹرن یور فیسز اوے دین آئی فیئر اباؤٹ یو دی چیسٹسمنٹ اف اے مائٹی ڈے اف اے بگ ڈے الا اللہ مرجعکم تو اللہ از یور ریٹرن وہ والا کل شین قدیر اینڈ ہی از ہی از پاور اوور ایوری تھنگ 